Hi there! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.6. We're excited to announce the release of Apple Watch management capabilities in Jamf Pro 11.6. Now admins can verify device information, share Wi-Fi configurations, enforce passcode policies, and more on institutionally owned Apple Watches. This new capability requires an Apple Watch running WatchOS 10 or later to be paired with a managed and supervised iPhone running iOS 17 or later. To enable WatchOS management, let's start by navigating to Devices, Smart Device Groups, All Managed iPhones. A different smart group may be selected if an admin wants to target a smaller subset of managed iPhones, but for this example, I'm using the default All Managed iPhones smart group. Click Edit on the bottom right, and then click the Automated Management tab. Under Apple Watch Enrollment, we now have an option to allow Apple Watch Enrollment. Once enabled, click Save, and a configuration will immediately be added to all available devices through Declarative Device Management. Now, with a phone that's enrolled for management and supervised, let's enroll an Apple Watch. Because enrollment happens during the process of pairing a watch to iPhone, start by opening the Watch app and begin the pairing process. During the pairing process, users will be presented with a remote management screen where they'll need to select Allow Remote Management before being able to continue pairing the iPhone and Apple Watch. Once accepted, the rest of the pairing process remains the same as pairing a watch without management. Through the magic of video editing, I'm going to fast forward through the process. One thing to note, if a passcode is currently enforced on the iPhone, those same passcode complexity requirements will be enforced on the paired Apple Watch as well. With our watch enrolled, let's head back to Jamf Pro. Navigate to Search Inventory and search for all devices by doing a blank search. Here we see a list of all enrolled devices. I could select the Apple Watch from the list, but let's select the iPhone it was paired to so we can see the new section under the Inventory tab called Paired Devices. Here we can see all devices paired with this iPhone. If I click on the Apple Watch, we're brought to its inventory record, where we can verify information, such as OS version and serial number. We can also go to the Management tab and perform management commands, such as Clear Passcode or Unmanaged Device. One thing to note, unlike other devices, if the Unmanaged Device command is sent to an Apple Watch, it will reset the device, erasing all of the data and getting it ready to be paired with an iPhone again. For a complete list of requirements and current watchOS management capabilities, be sure to check out the release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub. Jamf Pro 11.6 now allows administrators to export a CSV summary of multiple app installers from the Jamf App Catalog. Let's navigate to Computers, Mac Apps. Under the Jamf App Catalog, select any number of your deployments. The downloaded CSV file will be formatted based on the columns you have configured in the Jamf App Catalog, so make sure to include the items that you want as part of the report. When ready, click the Export Selected Items button in the top right, and the report will download immediately. If your CSV contains the Deployment Status column, the numbers separated by commas are for the number of completed, in progress, and failed installations. A new mobile device restriction has been added to Jamf Pro 11.6 to prevent iPhones from downloading apps directly via web distribution. Previously, Jamf Pro could be used to restrict apps from being downloaded from alternative marketplaces, but now iPhones can be prevented from downloading non-marketplace apps directly from a developer's website as well. Let's navigate to Devices, Configuration Profiles, New. Find the Restrictions payload on the left and select Functionality. At the bottom of the Functionality section, we see the option to restrict app installation from web distribution. This restriction does require that the device is supervised and running iOS 17.5 or later. It's recommended to scope this restriction to a smart group that only contains devices that meet these requirements. Once this restriction is deployed, targeted devices will not be able to install apps downloaded via the web. Please note, Apps downloaded and installed directly from developers prior to this restriction being enabled cannot be removed automatically. It's time to officially say farewell to Jamf Admin with the release of Jamf Pro 11.6. Many of the features that were once part of Jamf Admin are now directly part of Jamf Pro. 
And for those of you looking to sync distribution points or add printers to Jamf Pro, Jamf has created open source solutions for printer management, Jamf Printer Manager, and package replication, Jamf Sync, which are currently available on Jamf's GitHub page. Check out the links in the resources to learn more about these open source tools and why Jamf Admin has been deprecated. That's it for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.6. Be sure to check out the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com to review all of the exciting updates in this version, including the addition of the FIDO2 authentication method for self-service. Furthermore, on-premise customers still using Microsoft's deprecated conditional access should also check the release notes for more information on migrating to macOS device compliance ahead of Microsoft's September 1st deadline. Thanks for watching.